good morning Fall City kids and parents. I'm so glad I can be with you this Sunday again. I am bringing a message to you today. We're going to talk about love and Jesus' instructions that he left for us. So our little experiment or object lesson is going to take a little while. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to talk to you while we do that. So we're going to start with three identical clear bowls or cups. And then I'm going to put a bowl in between each one. And then I'm going to use red, yellow, and blue. So for those of you who have listened to your art teachers, you know that those are the primary colors. I'm going to put just a few drops of red. And then I'm going to skip a bowl, leave it empty. And then I'll do a few drops of my blue and skippable. And last but not least, a few drops of yellow. Now, we are going to add water to only these three cups. Not going to put water in the others. So I'm going to carefully, if you do this at home, I have mom and dad help with this part. So I'm going to carefully pour some water in and you'll see just like when you're dying Easter eggs how that's coloring that water. Okay now the other three bowls are completely empty. That's what's going to make this so amazing and cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some just paper towels and I'm going to fold, I'm going to fold mine a few times so they have some little strips just like this. I'm going to take this, these strips and put them between each of the cups. Now, I'm not going to connect them, but they'll be individual. So I'll put some in the yellow and then go in right there into the blank cup. And I'll fold this one. And I'll put from the blank empty cup into the red. There we go. And then we're going to do the red into an empty, just like so. We'll just keep going all the way around. Some of you may have noticed while I'm doing this that as all of this started with the COVID-19 and the quarantine, some people were starting to draw rainbows and hang them out on their windows or do sidewalk chalk and put them outside their homes. And they were doing that um, as a sign to kind of spread happiness to others around them and cheer them up. And that got me thinking. And I started thinking about rainbows and how pretty they are. And I was thinking about everybody in this time. I know it's been maybe uncomfortable and we haven't been kind of bored and lonely and we haven't been able to see some of the people we want to see but in the midst of this what's really awesome is that people have started to do some nice things for each other and trying to cheer each other up and that got me thinking about Jesus and his commands for us to love one another so I looked it up to see how many times the command to love one another is in the Bible and it's at least 11 times in those exact words that we should love one another so I started thinking about how in times, sometimes where we're uncomfortable or unhappy, people will stand in solidarity and try to show love to others. And that is so important. It's important not only that we believe, but that we share that love with other people. And we do that through our actions, not just our words, not just saying, oh, I'll pray for you but through our actions, doing something nice for someone else. Maybe it's just putting out a rainbow to make others happy or a message in sidewalk chalk to make others feel happy. Maybe it's sending a note to someone in the mail. I know I received a couple of cards in the mail and they made my day. Or maybe um, you can help a neighbor, maybe mow their lawn if they can't get out and do that. Or you're, I'm sure your families have maybe done some things for people who can't get out. So really our actions are what show shows our love which shows God's love to other people. So I wanted to share with you just a couple of times in the Bible where we talk about or Jesus talks about 
loving other people. In John chapter 13, verse 34, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. He says it twice in the same verse. John chapter 13, verse 35, by this all, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Then in John chapter 15, verse 12, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. John chapter 15, verse 17, these things I command you that you love one another. So Jesus isn't asking, he's telling us that we should love one another. And I just think that right now in this day and age, it's really important that we do that. And we show, show it, not just say it. So back to our cups and how what this has to do with loving one another. What you'll notice, so we've got all of our pieces of paper towel going through and into the empty cups, and you can already see the color is climbing. So the red's climbing, the yellow's climbing, the blue is climbing. But what's really awesome is that this, to me, when I saw this experiment, I thought, this is how we fill each other's cups. You know, some of you I know have, have um, talked about filling buckets. You've read that picture book. And I thought, wow, what a great illustration to see that our love, we show love to other people and we fill their cup up. We fill their hearts up with love. And then what you'll see is they combine together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna show you one that's already done. So I'm gonna pull from my magic imaginary area. Here is an example that's already finished. And hopefully you can see that all of the cups have liquid in them now. So this one was has green in it because the complement to yellow and blue is green. So they work together and combine together to make that love and fill that cup. The, this one has orange in it from the red and the yellow. And this one has, it's a really dark purple, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's dark purple in there from the blue and the red. And I just thought that was such a wonderful example of how when we show love to others and we fill their cup and we fill their heart, they might be feeling sad or lonely and something really simple, a smile, reaching out to somebody on a Google Hangout or a Zoom or FaceTime can really make somebody's day. So I hope that you will think about that this week. I'm going to pray with you really quickly before I leave you today. Lord Jesus, thank you for being with us today. Help us this week to focus not on ourselves, but on sharing your love to others so we can show them how great and wonderful you are. Lord, thank you for this time that we get to have together, even if it's unconventional. Lord, thank you for giving us skills and talents and ways to reach others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much for being here. It's been great. I can't wait to see you and give you hugs in person. Until then, I will see you later. Love you. Bye.